Cronulla set deep to receive this kickoff. Underway in what really should be a crackerjack match. Docking gathers it in. And back there is Diamond playing against the club that he was with last year. Just eight metres short of halfway. Spina in a dummy half. Gives it to Miller. Gets it away to Wilson. Ball on the inside. Massey was backing up, but he couldn't get the pass to him. It's a fifth tackle. Speechley driving it back down the line. Belcher takes it on the foot. That would have almost bounced that in goal, but Belcher didn't decide to uh, take the chance on it hanging around in the goal area. Probably took the right decision. Well, I think they'd prefer to run it back from the 22, but uh, interesting note that Cronulla Southern had the leading point scorer and Alan Wilson with 36 points. Yes, very accomplished goal kicker Wilson also scoring tries this season. Staines taking out the kicker just after he got it away. Ricky Stewart landed on his backside. The kick was a good one, forcing Docking back. Docking away from Coyne. Away from Collins. Good run from Docking. Well, all the talk has been about Greg Alexander as uh, the man who may take over the New South Wales number one jersey, but I'm sure Jonathan Docking has other ideas about that. No Staines. That's no no 10 back. metres, just hitting it up straight off the edge of the ruck. <laughs> Penalty goes to Cronulla. Once more, against the marker, moving away from directly in front of the tackle player too early. And he moves. Plenty of height. That waved away. It looks as if it'll be with us all day long. The kick from Stuart Cannons into referee Eddie Ward, and that forces him to rule a scrum. No doubt that's the biggest hit we've seen so far. <laughs> come, come, come. Miller the pivot. Diamond. Miller either runs the ball or is the pivot in just about every play. Staines. Accelerating. Danny Staines suddenly clapped on the place there to try and burst through Walters and Lazarus tackle. Lee. They're working it up the middle. Fifth tackle, Speechley moving across to one side. No, it goes the other way to Eddinghausen. A high kick. Pressure on Belcher. He waits and waits. Takes it well. His feet were placed dead in goal. Very good work by Belcher in the end to place his feet perfectly. Kept his eye on the ball all the way. Knew exactly where he was in that in goal area. Collins gets it out to the coin. Oh, good hit comes in. But Cronulla up inside the five. That was Diamond launching himself at coin. Stewart. Lazarus is wide. Meninga, flat-footed. Belcher isn't. Martin stepping. Bell. Mark Bell from Yass originally. Not too far from Canberra. Inside is Walters. Ricky Stewart, trying to link up out wide, gets it to Ferguson. Ferguson with room to move, away from one. Can't get away from the rest. He managed to elude David Hatch, but uh, not Miller and Lee. Stewart, puts the kick up. This will float in the breeze for docking. Stewart knocks it back. Ferguson diving on it, but that is the sixth tackle, so that's a handover on the Sharks' quarter line. Those kind of mistakes from the dummy half knock the momentum out of your play. But Speechley recovers well with a great kick. What a great kick there for Michael Speechley. He was out for a couple of weeks, but isn't he back? Daly out to Stewart for the kick. Stewart puts some oomph into it, manages to drive it low, trying to avoid this win. Docking. Clyde with a copybook tackle. Wilson has a run. The referee keeping both these sides a good 10 metres apart, which is going to make for an open game of football as it wears on. Diamond hit heavily. Clyde it was taking him on. I think Canberra is starting to realise they're going to have to uh, hit just as hard. Very similar game to last week, Arthur. It certainly is. There's uh, very few points on the board at the moment, so it might be just one try that'll win this game. Docking. He's had plenty of work to do. Been collecting quite a few kicks back around his quarter line. Wilson 
Wilson doesn't spend too much time on the wing. He's always involved in the forward play. Lee drops it. Stewart gathers it in. Daly. Meninga. Steps away from one. Still going is Mel Meninga. Still going, carrying them towards the line. Great run from Meninga. Martin. Stewart has runners wide. Purples towards the line. Plenty of support out wide now from this play the ball. The Sharks are very short out wide. Stewart, Lazarus, goes away from Belcher, tries to duck back inside. McGaw was moving up quickly on Belcher. The long pass, Belcher, out to Bell. He's lost it, he gathered in by Wilson. Ferguson just hanging on to him. Benninghausen. Well, the Sharks, desperate defence, manages to uh, hang on because Canberra really did have them stretched on the far side. Yes, they bought well uh, Granada, Laurie Spina, Craig Diamond and also Matthew Corkery from Canberra with the Sharks this season. Speechly to McGaw. McGaw hugging through the forwards. Striding out beautifully, Mark McGaw, but no room for him there. Miller has lost it. Walters can't hang on to it, but Daly gathers it in. It's play on. Ferguson. Great tackle by Wilson. About that. that was a try saving tackle there from young Wilson. One of the very few blokes that you don't show the line to is Chicka Ferguson, but a great diving tackle there by Alan Wilson. Canberra going backwards. Staines. Dummies to Miller. The, the dummy not taken by Lazarus. Spina. Diamond. Has a go himself. Uh, Davidson can't hang on to it. The referee has given the penalty to Cronulla, saying that Davidson was tackled initially without the ball. Now, Alan Wilson the only missed kick with his first kick. But he scored 125 points last year. Warren. Wilson makes no mistake this time. Just put it out towards the right hand upright. The wind straightened it up and straight through the middle. So the first points on the board. Cronulla leading Canberra by two points to nil. There's no doubt the break. I think that Timmy Sheens will be emphasised. They tighten up their chasing team a little bit. Early in the game, uh, Jonathan Dock, Docking exposed their uh, chasing team a little bit. Yeah, he's having a good game, Arthur. He's a good runner of the ball. He gets to the ball very quickly. Here's a hole. Warren Spina comes through. Spina all by himself, looking for support now. Only five metres out. What a great run from Spina. Speechly in a dummy half. Here comes Eddinghausen. Tries to spin around. Can't get loose of the tackle. It's the fifth. Just three metres out. Cronulla right on the attack here. Speechly. Stab kicks across the face. Lee is after it, but Belcher gets there first. Only just managing to evade the big rampaging Danny Lee. A take a moment ago by Laurie Spina. Just shows how valuable he is. Barry Russell's going to have uh, a big job in front of him when he finally does return from injury to get back into the first grade side. Gary Coyne to Daly who loses it. Camp would be very happy to go in just two points behind. Yes, probably uh, Arthur. They're starting to move the ball around a lot better now. Uh, uh, trying to crack down the centre. Laurie Daly was uh, running off that pass then. Starting to look a bit better, but they've got to keep Cronulla out. Well, the game's certainly opening up a little bit more. Docking. Can't get away from Daly. Eddinghausen. We haven't seen a great deal of so far until now. As soon as he got a sniff of the opening, he was away. Miller, Massey. They're just 24 minutes out, 24 metres out. Three minutes remaining till half time. Danny Lee, away from Lazarus, but he's lost the ball. Diamond dives on it. Miller moves it wide. Speechley docking. Eddinghausen inside. Speechley again. Miller again. Speeder has a hole. Cena comes to Stewart and loses his footing. Just two minutes to go, Warren. Last chance for Cronulla. Miller. Dan Staines trying to duck under the tackle. 15 metres out. Lee charges at the line. Busting his way through the first tackle, but not all the way. Spina. Speech lead. Plenty of room out right. He tries to dummy inside Eddinghausen. Still going. Eddinghausen just inches short. Cronulla had men on the far side of the field. Slow play the ball. 
Docking. McGaw finds Wilson. Ferguson gets hold of him, or at least pushes him on to uh, Daly. It's the last tackle. Miller kicks. Belcher manages to gather it in again. And Gary Belcher did very well. He's been under pressure in the last few minutes. He saved a couple of potential tries. So at half time, there's really nothing in it. This is a real battle out there in the middle. Cronulla leading by two points to nil here at Caltex Field. The fifth tackle right in front of the six, 22 metres out. Eddinghausen launches it. A space shuttle, down it comes. A Belcher launches himself. What a great leap from Gary Belcher. The Australian lock forward. We'll have plenty of contenders again this year chasing him. Here's Meninga. Away from one. Still going. Ferguson. Ferguson. Still going, Ferguson. Great run. They seem to have him covered. Daly. Slows it up. Now he goes across looking for support. Stewart. Belcher. Has plenty of men outside him too. Dummies to Bell, still going. Here's Martin. Martin looking for Bell, who's supporting him. Docking across with Davidson to stop the movement. Stewart, Daly. Here come Canberra. Clyde. Good tackle stops him, but there are only 10 out. Daly has a go himself. Puts a kick through. Across goes Martin Daly. Ford for a try. And Daly has the try. Referee Ward awarding. Four pointed to Laurie Daly, the first try of the match. And Ninga raises the flags. So Canberra have hit the lead by six points to two. Lazarus goes across field. The defence coming at Lazarus very quickly, and that forced him to move wide. It was Diamond. Collins. Almost held. The referee said it was okay. Here's Walters. Walters from dummy half. Collins. Coyne. That's good football from Canberra, hitting it up the middle. Stewart, now they turn it wide. Belcher, out to Daly, off the left foot. Stewart. Stewart looks now to Belcher again. Has plenty of support in Bell. Bell for the line. Just short, it's a fifth tackle. Desperation tackle there from Hatch. Stewart flings it out the back. It's a fifth tackle. He knows he's got to get rid of it, and they've blown it. Spina. Spina still going, comes all the way to Belcher. He'll be dangerous as the second half wears on and the forwards get tired. Miller, Eddinghausen, Speechley has it. Back to ET. Shows the ball inside to Gocky. Speechley, Speechley still going, ducking under two tackles. Finally, it took Meninga to crush him. Only a couple of metres out at the fifth tackle. Bad pass from the dummy half goes to uh, Lee. And that really has been a disappointing end of the passage of play for Cronulla. There's Brent Todd. Yeah, he's had a decided advantage on uh, on us at state of origin level there, Arthur. He sent three up, he still puts one away. Meninga. Ferguson. Steps away from two men. Ferguson. Left. First of all, Alan Wilson. Then Michael Speechley. Just grasping at thin air. Two metres out. Cronulla. Miller gets it to McGaw. McGaw straight through the line. Looks for support. Spina can't hang on to it. Staines gets it to McGaw. McGaw turns, first of all, Bell around and then uh, Ron puts himself. And E.T.'s the man that can do it for them also, I think. Andrew Eddinghouse must get more involved. Try and work on the fringe off for Gavin Miller. But here's Canberra in possession. Here's danger signals. Here's Barnhill. Fresh man on the field. They're trying to move the ball away from the defence, but uh, it seems to be moving up all over the field on them. Great work by Wayne Collins there. Just completed the tackle before and the play came back to him, so he's chalked up another one. Belcher collects the kick in centre field. Away from Porter, he's too much speed for him. Martin, Martin cuts right through. Back it goes to Bell. Bell still going. Good run from Fast Bell. Heading to the corner, Eddinghausen across. Brilliant tackle from Eddinghausen. <laughs> Bell sliding into touch just a metre short. Been very impressed with young Collins. His work around the dummy half has been exceptional. He plus he's a great little ball carrier from that area. Canberra may start to think about a field goal, though they only lead by four points. It won't uh, tie it up for them. There it is from Ricky Stewart. He makes no mistake. His rugby union skills mean that he doesn't miss many when he goes for the field goal. That extends their lead to five field points. Goal. Canberra leading by seven field. points to two. Canberra. Certainly can't be long to go. Hatch. 
working it up the middle. Miller will be the key. He's in a dummy half. Miller trying to roll around. Gets it back inside. Heading house into Lee. Lee to the line. He has plenty of support. Danny Lee standing. Just three metres out. The Sharks coming home, Eddinghausen. Eddinghausen! Oh, what a throw. Eddinghausen! E.T. The man from outer space has done it. It's underneath the post. Alan Wilson will attempt the conversion for the match. Andrew Eddinghausen, a solo effort. What a try. Look at this step, the pace. Eddinghausen wanted the score and he did. Well, the scores are Canberra 7, Granola 6. There could only be a minute at best remaining on the clock. Alan Wilson has all the pressure of the Granola Southern area on his shoulders. This kick to win the match. They're down by one point. Wilson right in front. It's up! The flags are up. The kick is over. Alan Wilson breathes a big sigh of relief. Granola lead 8-7. The siren can't be far away. The deep kick from Meninga. Docking. Takes it beautifully. Docking still going. Canberra have got to get the ball. The siren might have gone. Touchdown has come on. The referee is uh, worrying more about a fight that's broken out. The siren could have gone here. Johnny Ferguson has left the field. He must have heard it. Gary Belcher is walking from the field. The rest of the players still out there. There's going to be a belated caution here. Looks as if it's Laurie Daly spoken to. Referee Eddie Ward calls the game off. The game has been won in the final minute by a try from Andrew Eddinghausen. The shark attack in the final seconds. Cronulla, eight. Canberra, seven.